Hi, day 16 post op and here is what happened today. Now the whole last of the, the last two and a half weeks worth of not sleeping um, caught up with me today and uh, maybe it was something to do with the walking up and down the shops yesterday too, I don't know, but I was exhausted. I still don't sleep too well but I have accepted that's the way it's going to be and I gave myself a break this morning and I managed to get a couple of hours here and there and a couple of hours here and there and got up slightly later than I usually do so that I could maybe get a little bit more sleep. Made me feel uh, a whole lot better though and um, got up feeling pretty sweet. So something else quite exciting happened today. I've been focusing really hard on walking with my heel down first and I have been really trying to weight bear as equally as I can on both sides. And that means I can now do this. Look. One crutch. One crutch. Now I'm not sure that I could step over stuff or go around corners and I haven't tried it outside yet, but still I'm excited. So that's opened a whole new world of opportunities up for me because now I can carry stuff in the one hand. Now I would not want to step over things, go around corners or maybe not yet do it in public but I don't think I'm far away from being a bit more confident just on one crutch so that's pretty exciting. I also have been pursuing the exercises and oh they are hard and they really hurt but I do them because I know that I have to. Here's what I am doing on a daily basis. Heel raises, three lots of 30 reps. Stand on one leg, three lots of 30 seconds. Theraband knee extensions, three lots of 30 reps. Wall sits, Three times ten as low as I can go. Yeah, that last one's very hard. Now, I actually thought about this today. And, you know, I used to really struggle with heel raises pre-op. And I couldn't really nail down why that was. I didn't actually think you needed your knees for heel raises but if you think about where the calf um where the hamstrings and where the quads all attach they all crisscross at the knee so i suppose it makes sense but i can do heel raises on both feet a lot easier than i could pre-op which is good news now the wall slides this is only the day three of the wall slides and the first time i did it i thought this was absolutely bloody impossible that little old physio was having a crazy turn but this is the third time that i've done it and the wall slide heel, the wall slide wall sit things the trouble that i'm now having is what i've got on my feet so i'm gonna have to change my change from my slippers to my shoes to so that my feet grip the floor because my good leg foot is sliding out from under me so i'm still doing them with crutches but i actually think i possibly could do it without only a little baby slide but I think I possibly could do it without and I don't think um, my weight is equally on left and right foot but I think I could probably balance myself and I almost did if you have uh, a look back at the footage of me doing them earlier I just had to keep stopping because my foot was sliding out and falling is the last thing I want to do. But the hardest thing of all is the flipping knee straightening ones with the band around my knee. 90 of those blighters with the band tied around a bookcase and it really, really freaking hurts. Now these exercises, it does say 90 seconds rest, la 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 la. I'm having to sit down ice in between because it's really, really, really sore. But I'm going to pursue this thing because I'm sure she knows what she's doing. Another thing I managed to achieve today, a tiny triumph, I managed to bring in the washing and take out the washing. One crutch washing in hand. Now I did it yesterday and what I did was I kicked it in front of me and slid it along the floor till I got to the washing line. But this time it took me slightly less time and I felt a bit more secure over it. Tiny triumphs, this is what we need to look for, tiny triumphs. 
one thing I am still finding now I did ask somebody this um, actually in one of the forums before my operations one thing I'm still finding actually is mental capacity now because I'm focused so much on the pain and the healing and the bending and the exercises and la 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 it actually makes mental focus quite difficult for other stuff so although there are things that I'm, I'm being required to do for work I'm actually finding it really really challenging and I'm having to turn some of it back because I just can't do it just yet because um, never mind my physical well-being my mental um, capacity is not yet back up to scratch either and I suppose it all is you know all one and the same because your body is spending so much time trying to fix this thing so yeah that's something that I didn't quite expect and uh, we're into the end of week three and I um, I've only had one day where I've felt really down but the rest of them I just it's my brain just won't work and mm, it's weird so my two tiny triumphs today carried the washing out. I um, can walk with one crutch. Oh wait, I've got three. I can do a weight-bearing heel slide. Oh, um, wait, no, not heel slide. Wall sit slide. Only a small one, but that I can. So that's my three tiny triumphs today.